Ooh, oh boy. <clears throat> it's uh it has been a while, guys. It has been a while. But I am back. And I am back to recorded content. And I say recorded content because if you guys missed, I put up a poll. Uh, right around the time of me coming back to streaming. And I was like, hey, I stream Wednesday through Sundays over on Twitch. Should I bring that over onto YouTube and stream over on YouTube in conjunction with Twitch streaming? And it was overall just yes. Like there was no no's. No no's. Just none. No no's. I don't know. I, <laughs> this is my first video for the day. I'm still waking up almost. Um, but, uh, so Wednesday through Sundays, um, around noon Eastern, give or take, unless something changes, I'm trying to go live both on Twitch and on YouTube. I've been slowly getting things updated. I got like the badges and some of the the emotes and stuff like that updated and everything so that's been kind of cool um i do want to start bringing in more attention for the members again i kind of fell off with that as my vacation got a little bit closer uh, i think i'm not going to do the day early for daily dose of cuteness for the members because that's a lot and i mean a lot of work uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to give previews for certain videos or just give specific videos for members only. Um, like I have a couple of plans for a couple of different videos that I'm going to make and members over on YouTube or Ko-Fi uh, members or whatever are all going to be able to view them and that's it. Like, nobody else will be able to see them. Uh, it'll be just specifically YouTube members slash Ko-Fi and Patreon subscriber uh, member people content. Um, as just a little thank you for content. Um, on top of that, I am still working towards the 3D printer. A lot of people have shown interest in an Etsy shop of 3d printed objects from me uh so i'm hoping ko-fi patreon that's the main thing we're working for as well as trying to keep me afloat um the the 3d printer is kind of on hold right now uh life update kind of here uh within like the next four months three and a half months as long as everything goes according to plan because it kind of has to um i'll be moving the place that i'm in has been there there i i could fill five vods with talking about the place that i'm in um but hopefully hopefully within the next three and a half four months i will be moving and so a lot of the Funds that I have currently are going towards making sure uh, Dragon and I have the security deposit to be able to move to wherever we got to move to. Um, and quite honestly, it's a lot of uh, Dragon's end. A lot of my stuff is going back into like trying to make sure that we keep the lights on and everything. Um, but yeah, so... This might all get changed here soon. I, and honestly, I kind of want to. Um, Like, I really, really want to get out of this place. I've been in this same apartment for like seven or eight years now. My entire adult life has been spent in this apartment at this point. And uh, I just want to, I need something new. I need a, I need a new experience, you know. So I'm, I'm excited for it, but it's also like it's taken up a lot of time you know, hunting down an apartment in the place that we're, lo like, in the area that we're looking for, there's so few available apartments because 
uh, Dragon got into college, and so we're trying to move closer to where she got into college, and there's so few places available there that, like, I think within the last three months that we've been looking, we found two places pop up. We've been checking the newspaper. We've been checking, like, Zillow, Apartments.com, like, everything that we can think of, and there's just nothing. Uh, so it's uh we're getting down to the wire and like october is the the hard cutoff point which sounds weird but i i don't want to go too much into it but my landlord and i are not on the best of terms right now because of a lot of different things and um yeah so we're hopefully going to be able to get out of here soon um but on uh on a brighter note, I am back to content. Uh, YouTube will be getting recorded content on top of the stream content again. Um, YouTube is still something where I like to take the stuff that I play and just record it. Um, but since I am streaming stuff over onto YouTube now, uh, there will be less. If not, if any, cut up streams on YouTube. If you want to see stuff that I'm streaming, you'll just have to go to the live sections. I'll probably make a playlist of just YouTube streams. Uh, we tend to jump around to different games. Like we'll go to Knockout City for one for a couple hours, then maybe Stardew Valley, then or Death Damnation, then League of Legends or something like that. We'll we'll jump around. Um, that's why a lot of the times the streams are kind of chopped up in, in different segments and stuff like that. Um, and so they don't really fit into a playlist. So I'll probably make a playlist and just do uh, live streams. And if you want to watch the live streams, you can. Uh, we've been recently going through Stardew Valley. That's been my most recent endeavor for 100%ing uh, a game for achievements on Steam. Uh, over my little vacation, I 100%ed Elden Ring on Steam. So Elden Ring is now 100% complete. Uh, I no longer have to play Elden Ring, essentially. Uh, it is all done. It is all complete. And uh, honestly, like the hardest achievement to get was probably... Uh, trying to face the, like, super dragon dude. Like, getting all of the different endings and stuff like that and acquiring all the armaments and talismans and sorceries, it took a little bit, but, I mean, if you just explore the game and go everywhere and do everything, you eventually do that anyway, and getting all the different endings, if you just plow through the game and do what you need to do to get to the end, I think... For New Game Plus 2 to get the third ending that I needed for the achievement. I completed it in about an hour. From start to finish. Um, now keeping in mind I was like level 210 or something like that. And with my build that I have. I quite literally when I got to the Morgoth fight. And... I'm being 100% serious. I wish I would have recorded this because it was freaking hilarious. I walked into the fog wall. The cutscene played. I skipped it. I summoned Black Knife Tish. And then I drank my potion that made it so I don't consume any FP. And charged up and shot my comet. The the Zor's comet or whatever it is. The, the really long like... Kamehameha one. Oh, hiccup. Oh, jeez. The Kamehameha one, right? And he just kept walking slowly at me. And then he would get staggered. And then he would get back up. And he would keep walking at me. And he finally dashed at me. And as he dashed at me, he died. Like, he didn't even get a chance to go into phase two. Kind of. I killed him that fast. Like, Black Knife Tish was wailing on him, did the whole, like, 
dagger special that chunked off a nice little chunk of his health and everything else like it was it was so easy i literally just plowed through the game so freaking fast it was unreal like my build on that game magic is so op if you can if you can build magic and you can get to end game and you can just buff yourself it it it's game over 100% it's game over but yeah it it was a it was a lot of fun um but that's done it's complete and i'm super excited that it's complete uh i've been updating my website kingbullet.net that's been getting updated i have a uh, new blog posts with reviews of games up uh crystal defense has a review up and elden ring now has a review up i tried to keep elden ring kind of shorter and uh spoiler free so that if people wanted to read it without getting any kind of spoiler they could so um but yeah uh my next big game and long haul is Stardew Valley, and uh, all I really need to do is 100% a JoJo run, and I get all the achievements. So I, I've i been slowly working on that on and off stream at this point. Uh, I'll probably be working on that here a little bit later. Uh, as far as recorded content goes, I'm going to finish up DreadX Collection uh, Steam Next Fest is out, but honestly, a lot of the games that I've been hearing about haven't really caught my attention. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to cover a lot of Steam Next Fest. They haven't really pulled me all that much, which is a little disappointing. Usually, there's a lot of games that are like, ooh, but yeah, not a lot of them really grab my attention. Um, some of them did, and there's some of them that I might grab. Uh, I have a couple of keys for a couple of games that I got either over my vacation or right before my vacation that I want to record. Uh, so those will be coming out as well. Um, so I know I have to pick up Evo Space again. It's been a long time since I've done anything Evo Space related. I actually got quite a bit of help from some comments via youtube for evo space especially in regards to like power and everything else so uh, i have to take that into account and everything um i'll have to completely go back through and re-remember what i was working on because it's been so long since i loaded up the world um i hope that i, I haven't looked but i hope that they get the achievements fixed soon That'll be really nice. So I could, uh, I'd like the 100% Evo space. I think that'd be really fun. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I, I'll stop. I'll stop talking. We'll we'll have regular content picking back up. I'm gonna try to get back and be back as regular as possible. Um, as soon as possible. I'm not gonna guarantee that it's gonna be right out the gate, but as soon as possible, I will have it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out, do something nice for somebody today. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm watching you. And I will see all of you guys next time. Bye, guys!